This discovery is monumental, showcasing the incredible capabilities of NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. The most exciting aspect of this advanced instrument is its ability to uncover unexpected findings that challenge our understanding of the universe. The telescope's power is so immense that given enough time, it could potentially identify any galaxy that ever formed. Recently, the telescope has detected something unusual that could hint at intelligent life beyond Earth. If these observations are confirmed, they could represent undeniable evidence that humanity is not alone in the universe, a groundbreaking revelation in our search for extraterrestrial life. If you're fascinated by discoveries like these, don't forget to subscribe to Space Exploring and give this video a like. Your support helps bring more in-depth and exciting content about the mysteries of the universe. Now let's dive deeper into the latest findings. The James Webb Telescope has been focusing on Proxima b, an exoplanet located just 4.24 light-years away from Earth. This planet, residing within its star's habitable zone, has been of significant interest to astronomers. The habitable zone refers to an area where conditions could potentially allow liquid water to exist, making it a promising target in the search for life. However, the planet's proximity to its red dwarf star, known for its violent solar flares, posed serious doubts about Proxima b's habitability. Despite these challenges, astronomers continued to study the planet, and the James Webb Space Telescope's advanced infrared instruments allowed them to observe Proxima b in greater detail than ever before. Instead of detecting common elements like methane or water vapor, the telescope picked up a consistent faint glow from the planet's night side. This glow wasn't attributed to natural occurrences like volcanic activity or auroras. Rather, its steady and uniform nature suggested the possibility of artificial lighting, potentially a sign of an advanced civilization, akin to how city lights are seen on Earth from space. The discovery of potential artificial lights on Proxima b has sparked excitement and speculation within the scientific community. If these lights are indeed the result of advanced technology, it could indicate the existence or past existence of a highly developed civilization. This would mark the first time we've uncovered direct evidence of extraterrestrial technology, a finding far more significant than the discovery of basic life forms like bacteria. It raises profound questions about the nature of this civilization, its technological capabilities, and what this could mean for our place in the universe. How advanced could these beings be? Are we talking about a civilization similar to ours, dealing with its own technological developments and challenges, or something far more evolved? According to data from the James Webb Telescope, these lights cover a large portion of the planet, suggesting either one massive city or multiple smaller settlements. Either way, this indicates an organized society rather than random lights scattered across the surface. Another pressing question is how these lights are powered. Are they using electricity generated from natural resources like coal, solar, or wind energy as we do? Or have they developed an advanced energy source beyond our current understanding? If you find this fascinating, be sure to subscribe to Space Exploring and give this video a thumbs up. Let's dive deeper into the possibilities. Proxima b orbits a red dwarf star, which is cooler and dimmer than our sun. This could mean that the inhabitants had to be creative with energy production, potentially harnessing energy in ways that could offer clues to solving our own energy challenges on Earth. But what if these lights are just remnants of a once thriving civilization now in decline? It raises questions about what might have caused their downfall, internal conflict, environmental issues, or a catastrophic disaster. On the flip side, if this civilization is still thriving, should we even attempt to make contact? History shows that when civilizations meet, it doesn't always end well.
This brings up countless ethical and practical dilemmas. The discovery also challenges our understanding of where life can exist. For the longest time, scientists believed that planets orbiting red dwarf stars were unlikely to support life, as these stars often emit powerful solar flares that can strip away atmospheres and leave planets barren. However, if intelligent life is indeed thriving on Proxima b, it could completely shift our thinking. Red dwarfs are the most common type of star in our galaxy. And if life can survive on Proxima b, there could be many more planets around similar stars that could host life. This could open a whole new era in the search for extraterrestrial life, suggesting we should start looking for city lights and other signs of advanced technology on these distant worlds. Beyond the science, there's a profound implication here. If Proxima b really does harbor intelligent life, it challenges our perception of humanity's place in the universe. We've long considered ourselves the pinnacle of evolution, but this discovery could force us to rethink our responsibilities to our planet and the technology we create. Moreover, if an alien civilization does exist just a few light years away, it could represent both opportunities and threats. Could they teach us how to build a more advanced and sustainable society, or warn us of the dangers of rapid technological advancement? And would they see us as a potential threat? The prospect of contact with an intelligent civilization raises complex questions about our future and our place in the cosmos. The discovery of lights on Proxima b forces us to think about the implications of advancing technology and how it might redefine what kind of civilization we are or aspire to be as we explore the cosmos. If these lights are indeed real, they could become a catalyst for unprecedented international cooperation. Studying a planet that is light years away is not something one nation can handle alone. It will require collaborative efforts similar to those seen with the International Space Station. This could inspire a new wave of global teamwork, pooling resources and sharing knowledge with the common goal of exploring Proxima and potentially making contact. If you're fascinated by these topics, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to Space Exploring for more deep dives into cosmic mysteries and groundbreaking discoveries. Your support helps us bring you more thought-provoking content and updates on the latest in space exploration. One of the first questions to arise if there's a civilization on Proxima b is how they've survived in such a hostile environment. Proxima b orbits a red dwarf star known for its intense stellar flares that bombard the planet with harmful radiation. The existence of these lights suggests that any inhabitants may have developed advanced technologies to protect themselves or even adapted biologically to thrive in these extreme conditions. This could lead to a deeper understanding of how life might evolve differently than we've ever imagined and possibly introduce us to technology beyond our current comprehension, such as antimatter reactors or energy sources we've only speculated about. Culturally, the distribution of these lights could reveal how this alien society is structured. If the lights are evenly spread, it might suggest a connected global society. If clustered, it could indicate the existence of city-states or nations. Such patterns could provide insights into their urban planning, technological priorities, and societal functions. Moreover, understanding their technological advancement could open up discussions about whether these beings are peaceful explorers or isolationists hiding from the rest of the universe. If they possess interstellar travel capabilities, it would raise questions about whether they have explored other planets or star systems, potentially shaping our approach to making first contact.